Hello, um, this is Elle Carpenter um, doing my first vlog. Uh, the specific paragraph that challenged my thinking was the paragraph that described the special relationship shared by humans and the animals after creation and how that is described when God identifies the animals as helpers and brings them forward to be named. Um, God recognized that life on the farm would be inconceivable without animals and I think the same is true for God that if he didn't create humans what would he be doing um, so just like there are specific animals that possess specific abilities to perform tasks at their highest nature God gave humans uh, specific abilities to perform tasks at their highest nature to, to fulfill their service to God uh, the correlation of God to human and human to animal represents to me the relationship that God is an order of humans and humans are given a sense of order over animals with his hope that um, they will treat them with the same love that he provides those who follow him. The statement of namers in the Bible can be either more or less powerful than those they name is intriguing uh, because for instance a human naming um, an alligator an alligator. The alligator has every ability to eat and kill the human. Although the human was able to assert the power over the animal by naming it, it does not change the instinctual power of the alligator. And such as God named humans, he asserts power over us, but humans can also be more powerful than God in a sense. For example, when a human takes the life of another human, they in a sense are playing the role of God and changing that person's destiny same token a person can be less powerful in the sense that they are showing devotion to God and following uh, the moral conduct that is shown in the Bible. Um, the naming described in Eden is the naming that is possible when living shoulder to shoulder with the animal world as did the ancient Israelite farmer and that speaks to me that the Israelites interaction with the animals gave them the ability to see the traits and abilities of the animals allowing for them to pursue the names. Um, the names of animals today are directly related to what the animal is known for. So for example when you think of a horse you think of its ability to transport people, goods, and to help on farms. And like God named humans in Eden he is aware that he is living shoulder to shoulder with us and knowledgeable of our traits abilities and characteristics and within God's landscape each human is a part of farming his land and tending to the animals he provides which I consider to be the challenges that God presents to us um, and giving us the responsibility of farming his landscape with care and grace the statement that they serve to remind most of us modern readers how much we have lost the sense of our interrelationship with nature, which was simply part of being human in our biblical heritage. Um, to me, that shows that the interrelationship with nature can be depicted by, their, by our interrelationship with God, as the interrelationship with nature was God's original desire for, human, for humans um, and animals. He gave assertion to humans to name them and to use them to aid in their farming and their survival. Uh, I believe that this resembles the relationship that God has with humans. This interrelationship um, has been lost by some, and that is depicted by those who deny God's existence, those who don't live within a moral code of conduct, and also treat other humans as if they were animals themselves. Um, the reasons why this particular paragraph spoke to me comes from my own experience with God because I have been given many traits and qualities and gifts by God that um, when used, living in perfect harmony, everything's going great, and I get to bear the fruit of the land in a sense, you know, the landscape that I have been provided. And when I'm not, um, you know, life can just have its struggles and ups and downs, and um, I guess I feel more disconnected with myself and uh, the irony in that is pretty interesting. Um, so when I take care of myself and I'm focused on things that enrich my life, giving glory to God in my behavior, I am given in return a healthy state of mind <clears throat> and more control over my own landscape. 
The image of God in human beings is that of creation. He created humans from topsoil and ignited the spirit of life when he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, um, which is expressed as what happens after a human or animal is born. And the same actions of God have been bestowed upon humans, showing the embodiment of God within all of us. Uh, like the animals were born with a specific job or duty to help serve the people, Humans have been born with a specific job or duty to help serve God. 